Hi everyone, I'm in uh, beautiful Centennial Park in Sydney here with uh, the national 10,000 metre record holder Ben St Lawrence. Uh, ben just did a really good workout uh, along the white fence in the park there. He did three times one lap of the white fence being 3.55k uh, at tempo effort or about uh, uh, half marathon pace and went really well. Only three days after he ran that 5,000 metre race he pulled up with a, a little bit of doms but other than that he did really well. Very motivated character and uh, one who, who trains consistently and puts in the hard work every time he, he, he puts his running shoes on. Now all of you, I wish you all the best of luck in that 10k or marathon, half marathon training program and you'll need to put in the hard yards just like Ben. You probably won't be quite averaging 180k a week like Ben but you'll be no doubt uh, training very hard at the uh, various levels that you're embarking upon. Uh, ben, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, Shawnee. A bit tired after that session, but uh, you know, another another session in the bank. And uh, you know, as you said, consistency is the key. And you know, if these guys are doing a 12-week program, uh, you know, it's all about just progressively improving on what you're doing. And you know, not one session's not going to make the difference. It's putting those sessions back to back, and you know, getting one week after the other. And that's what's really worked for me. And you know, I'm looking at August with the Olympics in mind, and and you know, a bit longer than 12 weeks. But uh, you know, the principles are still the same, and it's just about you know, progressively improving on what you're doing. So, well and truly, well, you've got. Uh, not quite half a year between now and the Olympics and uh, the main idea for you, like all the people on the 12-week the, uh, program, will be very much to keep in one piece and not to push too hard in any one individual workout. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's about listening to your body and, you know, you're going to expect some discomfort and, and a little bit of pain, but you've got to know the difference between, a, you know, a niggle that you can train through and a bit of discomfort that you can train through and, and an injury. So, you know, if, if, if beginners are just embarking on their first training program, you're probably better off slightly under training than, than over training, getting injured and ending up back where you began. So, yeah, just listen to your body, but don't be soft. Great tips. Now, you're really good at looking after yourself in between sessions as well. You're a great one for getting as much sleep as you can possibly get, eating really well, doing your strength work, uh, doing your self-massage and all those sorts of things. Uh, they're very important for every runner out there, aren't they? Yeah, they definitely are. I mean, uh, the most important thing is getting your running done. But if you do have the spare time and, and you've got the extra time for recovery, I, I think massage is key. Um, if you can jump in an ice bath or even jump in the ocean after a session, that definitely helps. And, you know, if you get a... a you know, a foam roller or a, a TheraBand and do, do some stretches while you're watching the TV, you can definitely, you know, help yourself recover and bounce back for that next session. Wonderful, Ben. OK, well, thank you for taking your time out after your workout today to, uh, to talk with us and uh, best of luck with the rest of your training. Yeah, no worries. Good luck, guys.